Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the adapter design pattern. So adapter design pattern is a part of a structural design pattern and as the name suggests as the adapter it is something to adapt to a different types of objects that we have. Okay different types of implementation or the interface that that we are working with for that adaptation we can use the adapter design pattern. This is one of the easiest design pattern in the structural design pattern. So let's understand more by going through the diagrams now when to use the adapter design pattern so whenever we want to adapt to the different implementation or the different interfaces provided at the time we can use the adapter design pattern so suppose let's take one example you have one application this is the same example that you will see everywhere so let's use the same example to understand the basics of it here okay and this is the application that you are working with and you are also working with the third party application so you will be working with multiple third party applications so one of the third party application is suppose app 1 okay and this application is sending you data in the form of xml and your application is also working with xml data so that's the one thing now you have application 2 that is another third party application but this application is working with json data okay and from this application 1 you need to send the data to the application 2 but application 2 only works with json and your application also works with the xml data so what you can do so at that time you can have the adaptation to the json data right you need to adapt to json data from the xml data so at that time you will add the adapter here like it's the same thing right like in india and us we have the different types of electrical socket right so we have to adapt to that different types so here also it's the same thing we are adapting to it so here adapter we have added and this adapter will take this as the input here okay and it will adapt to the design pattern or pattern that is been json data here okay so it will take the input as the xml it will adapt to what we need to send to the app to and accordingly it will create the object and it will pass it on okay so all that part you can see that it is done by your adapter so this adapter design pattern will let you to adapt to the different types of implementation okay so that's why you can see it's a structural design pattern where it is allowing you to change the structure of the different implementation or the different objects here so let's take one more example let's take the example of a swiggy here everyone will know that what is swiggy swiggy is a food delivery application okay so what it does is it will deliver food from the different restaurants my spelling is really wrong let me correct it okay it will deliver the food from the different restaurants to you so that's the work of a swiggy application okay so let's understand more what it does is so what swiggy will have is swiggy will have an item to be delivered right so it will have the item class and this item class what it will have is it will have item name the price of the item and the restaurant name right from which restaurant we can send it and this item will be the interface and this item will be implemented by the food item and this food item will be the implementation of the item and it will have the same thing like food item name food item name the price of it and the restaurant and swiggy store will have the list of item in the store and any item we can order and that can be delivered okay that's the entire swiggy store working now at the time of pandemic swiggy decided that let's deliver the grocery items as well okay because we are already de delivering the food items and due to pandemic that is not possible so now we have to deliver the grocery items now grocery item is completely different from the food items right so you can see that now we have the different implementation that is the grocery now so within this swiggy app now we have to send the groceries now groceries is completely different so we need to adapt our application to send the groceries as well so what we can do is we can have the adapter here so that it will convert all the groceries items into the item that we have right this item it will convert the grocery items into this item using the adapter and that we can list in our swiggy store and anyone can order it okay so you can see that it's a classic example of the adapter design pattern now what i can have is i can have the grocery item created and this grocery item what it will have is it will have the item name okay grocery item name the price and the store okay because grocery you can purchase from the store not from the restaurant so that's a different here okay so that's why it's not able to adapt to it so now this grocery item interface will be implemented by the grocery product and it will have the implementation it will have the item price store and everything 
now whenever i want to list all these items i need to have the adapter okay so if i create the adapter here that is the grocery item adapter so what it will do is it is going to implement item here okay so it is going to implement item here so now you can see that grocery item adapter is implementing item here okay so at the end all the methods will be of the item but it should have the object of the grocery item so whatever the methods are there of the grocery item okay so it will convert all those values all those behaviors to this item so at the end it will return the item so you can see this adapter okay is implementing the item here but in the meantime what it is doing is whatever the grocery item it is it is changing this grocery item into this item okay so it is adapting this grocery item to this item here is doing the simple thing this adapter is doing simple thing like taking this grocery item and converting this to item so this item is something that we can add in our store right so that's how this adapter design pattern will work let's understand with the code as well so we'll take the same example here so here you can see that i have the item interface here okay you can see this is my swiggy store and you can see in this swiggy store i have listed all the items here okay i have the list of items and all the items i can add to my store using the add items here okay that's a simple store now everything i'm working with the item here okay so you can see i have the item interface and this item interface has few of the methods that is the get item name get price and get restaurant name okay three things now this item is implemented by the food item because we are serving food here so if you go to the food item here food item is implementing item and it has all the items here okay currently i have just implemented with null here but this is something that it, it will be implemented and it will be visible in your store now as we discussed that now we want to add the grocery item as well now grocery item you can see it's completely different from the item that we have so it has name price but it has a store name rather than the restaurant name okay so you can see that these are different things here okay so you can see these two are not compatible currently but we need to make sure that both are compatible so this grocery item is an interface so there has to be one class which is implementing it so we have the grocery product here okay which grocery product is implementing the grocery item and it has all the methods implemented simple thing now as i want to add my grocery item as an item here i need to have the adapter here which will adapt my grocery item to the item that i want to add here so i have created one grocery item adapter here okay so you can see this is a class grocery item adapter which is implementing item so that means whenever i'm implementing item all the methods of the item interface i need to write it here so this items interface has all these methods get item name get price get restaurant name everything okay so i have implemented all these methods and one more thing you can see that i have the property of the grocery item as well so i have the instance of grocery item here and whenever i have the constructor whenever i am creating the object i will take that grocery item here okay and this grocery item you can see that i am passing here so now you can see that whenever i'm calling this get item name of the item i am passing the item name of the grocery item similarly price i can directly give the price and for the restaurant name i am giving the store name here so you can see that i am adapting everything here so for the food it is restaurant name but for the grocery it's a store name so whenever i'm calling get restaurant name for that particular grocery item i am using the store name to pass to the restaurant name so you can see that i am converting store to the restaurant here okay similarly i am converting grocery item to the food item so as you can see that this is the adaptation that we are talking about so you can see that this adaptation class that we create that is using the adapter design pattern so now if i go to the main method you can see that in the swiggy store here i can directly add the food items here right i have directly added food items now whenever i want to add the grocery item you can see that i am calling the grocery item adapter here and i am passing the grocery product so it will convert this grocery product into the item with the grocery item adapter so you can see that how simple it is to adapt to the different implementation or the different interface that we have in our application so this is one of the easiest 
design pattern in the structural design patterns that is the adaptive design pattern so whenever interviewer is asking you about the structural design pattern then this is something that you can always tell about the adaptive design pattern that you can explain this because this is the easiest one to start so go through this code as well i will share you the code as well code link in the description below so you can check this out it is really easy to implement as well and if you have any doubts regarding any of the things that we have covered then you can always ask me in the comment section below if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on the join button to join my channel and support me i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye